The Cleveland Cavaliers have the NBA's number one defense through their first 31 games. They have a defensive rating of 107, and opponents are averaging just 104.6 points against them, three fewer than the LA Clippers who rank second in that category. Second year forward Evan Mobley is a huge reason why Cleveland is so stifling. If you only look at box score numbers, you probably don't realize how much of an impact he makes, particularly defensively, but even on the other end of the floor, he's making his presence felt. His general stats are nothing extraordinary. 15.2 points, 9.3 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 1.3 blocks per game. But a deeper dive into the analytics, along with an eye test examination, tells a far different story. In fact, Mobley has been so good that he should be an all-star this year, as well as make an all-defensive team. Let's focus first on the defense. He's one of the few bigs in this league right now that opponents are unable to take advantage of in pick and roll switches. According to second spectrum tracking data, Mobley has been switched onto a ball handler 55 times this season, which is extremely low for his position. But when it's happened and the ball handler attempted a shot with Mobley defending, they've only made six of the 17 shots taken that's 35%. Just to emphasize how good that is, Bam Adebayo, who many would say has been the best in the league at switching onto ball handlers the last couple years, has a 38% defensive field goal percentage when switched onto the ball handler in pick and roll this season. Just watching these clips, you can see how well Mobley moves his feet and how he positions his body to keep opponents in front of him and not reach in or be over aggressive when contesting shots. This is precisely what NBA scouts really look at when evaluating bigs these days. Unless a big man is an unreal scorer or just an all-around offensive genius like Nikola Jokic or can shoot from distance like Carl Anthony Towns, it's how well they defend the perimeter that really dictates their overall value. For Mobley, it's similar when he defends in isolation. He's been the defender to 63 shots in isolation so far this season, according to Second Spectrum, and opponents have made just 22 of them. That's just 34.9%. Just to compare, Clint Capella, who's pretty good at this himself, has a defensive field goal percentage of 43% when guarding in isolation. Nick Claxton is also excellent, and his isolation defensive field goal percentage is 38%. Again, Watching these clips, you can see how difficult it is for opponents to get clean shots off with Mobley defending. Even against speedsters like De'Aaron Fox and Russell Westbrook, they just struggle clearing out any space, which is rare against bigs. Now in general, Mobley has been the closest defender to more shots than any other defender in the league according to Second Spectrum. What's interesting though, is that of the 562 shots he's been the closest defender to, 43% of them have come outside the paint. That's extremely unusual for a power forward or center. Of the 240 shots outside the paint that he's been the closest defender to, 149 of them were misses. That's 37.9% shooting percentage, which is just extraordinary. Also interesting, Mobley contests more three-point attempts per game than anyone else in the league. Mobley isn't a great shot blocker really, he's only averaging 1.3 blocks per game, and this is actually where opponents can exploit him a little bit. He's just not a high riser or extremely athletic, and some opponents are able to get their shots off over him without them being obstructed or altered. Offensively, while probably never going to be a potent scorer, Mobley is very underrated on this end of the court. He's very smooth in pick and rolls as the screener. He's actually shooting 62.5% in the pick and roll when he's the screener. He's very poised and patient, doesn't rush anything, and can get defenders out of proper positioning using his blend of finesse and touch near the basket. Just in general, Mobley is shooting 74.3% within five feet of the basket on 167 attempts. Among players who have attempted at least 160 of them, 
That's the second best percentage. Only Nick Claxton is higher at 78.7%. Zion Williamson is at 68.5% and Giannis Antetokounmpo at 70.5%. Just throwing those numbers out for comparison purposes. Mobley isn't too bad from the short mid-range either. He's shooting over 40% from 6 to 14 feet out. He's obviously not a great perimeter shooter. In fact, the Cavs seem to be lessening his takes from three-point range. He's shooting just 27.3% from three-point distance. He's not someone who's going to go to work in isolation or handle the ball a ton looking to create his own shot. But I think this is why what the Cavs have done building their roster just makes sense for Mobley. He can play off of Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland and capitalize off the attention they each get. He's not bad playing out of the post. He has a decent turnaround jumper and he can go over either shoulder. He has a very nice baby hook shot when he gets into the middle of the lane. But he has only made 33% of his shots when posting up. He and Jared Allen are both great at cutting to the basket and using their reliable hands to catch alley-oops and other sharp passes on the interior. In summary, Mobley isn't dazzling anyone with eye-popping stats or highlight real plays, but he does all the ancillary things at an extremely high level. His defense is superb, he's a smart offensive player who doesn't go out of his comfort zone, but in fairness, for him to become a true superstar, he's going to have to add more to his offensive arsenal. Having Mitchell and Garland cover some of his weaknesses, but you just wonder if down the road we'll see him blossom offensively. Maybe at some point he becomes a more dependable outside shooter and that opens up more of his game. Currently Cleveland is 20 and 11. They've won three straight. They're just two games back of both Milwaukee and Boston for the top spot in the Eastern Conference. We know certainly that Donovan Mitchell will represent the Cavs in the All-Star game. The big question is whether they'll get a second guy in there. And if they do, I think likely Mobley will be that guy. Of course, Jared Allen and Darius Garland are in the conversation as well. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I will continue to do more player analysis features throughout the season. Some of the other players that I've done features on recently include Markel Fultz of the Orlando Magic, Jalen Green of the Houston Rockets, Jaden Ivey of the Detroit Pistons, Anthony Davis of the LA Lakers, Andrew Wiggins of the Golden State Warriors, and Anthony Simons of the Portland Trailblazers.